Hey guys, welcome to part 10. Today we're going to set up sign up, log out and log in. So we can begin with the sign up functionality. This should be placed in the views.py inside the core app. So here I need to do some changes. So we can begin by creating a new form for the sign up. So if I scroll up here now and find the core app, I want to create a new file here. New file forms.py. And then I want to import a few things here from Django import forms and from Django.contrib.auth.forms import user creation form because Django already have functionality for this which I want to use. I just want to do some changes to it. And from Django.contrib.auth.models import user. This is the database model for the user which comes from Django. Then I can create a new class, class sign up form, where we pass in user creation form. And then I want to add three new fields to this form. I want one field for the first name, forms.char field. And here we just pass in max length, can be 50. And I want this to be required true. So copy this and paste it two times, rename this to last name and I also want one field for email. This can be an email field. And just change this to 255 since many people have very long email addresses. And then to configure this class we need to add the subclass meta and then we specify which model to use which is user. And then I want to add which fields I want to render in this form. So fields equals username, first name, last name, the email, the password one. Oops, forgot to add a tick there. Password one and password two, which is the default names from Django. And save. So now we have generated the form we are going to use. Django will now use this for handling uh, validation and similar. So if I now go to views.py in the core app, we can import this form from dot forms import sign up form. And I want to import a redirect uh, shortcut from Django and also a decorator called login required, which we are going to use later. And I want to import one function as well. So from django.contrib.auth import login. This will be used to log in the signed up user. So now we can do some changes here. First, I want to check if the user has submitted the form. And to do that, I say if request.method equals post, then I know that the user has clicked submit. And then I create a new instance of this form by saying form equals sign up form. And to get the data from the form, we just say request.post. And then Django will handle the rest there. And to check that if this is valid, if the username doesn't exist and similar, we can say if form.is valid. This is a built in method from Django. And if it is, we can say user equals form.save. And then the user has been created. And to log him in, we can say login, which we imported at the top. Use the request, we're using the session and similar, and pass in the user we created here. And when that's done, we can just redirect the user back to the front page. So return, oops, return, redirect, slash, like that. But if it's not a post request, then we know that the user is there to sign up. Then we can say form equals sign up form and just have this to be an empty instance. And then to use the form in the front page or the template, we say form and form. So now this form should be able to use inside the template. So if I now open up signup.html, I need to do some changes here. We already have these three fields, but I want the two other fields for first name and last name. So replace this with first name and this with last name. And then I can replace this with text because this is just a regular text field. And now we have all of these. 
but they don't have a name yet so we need to add that as well so the first one is name first name which is the same as we used inside the forms.py file name last name and then a name for this is email name for this is password1 and name for this is password2 great so now that's done then i just want to show the errors here if there are any so then we can use django for this if form.errors then we know that there are errors in the form now say for field in field.errors just close this for and and if like that so now this will show for each of the fields that has an error but we can't show this so we need to show the actual error error now we pipe this into escape in case there are any weird uh, letters and similar and that was it so now the sign up functionality is actually finished so i can go to sign up and try to sign up with code stein code with stein at gmail.com and then a password submit okay i get the csrf token missing and that's because i forgot to add that to the form so at the top here we say csrf token this is for cross-site request forgery security and this is needed for all forms that has the post attribute so if I go back now and refresh, I need to fill it out again, submit. And now I was redirected back here, but I don't see any errors. Okay, I might have forgotten to add something here. So below here, I can say we also have something called non-field errors. Let's try to print them out as well. For error in form.nonfield errors like that and and for and then here i make a copy of this div like that but i also see that i did a little mistake up here because here i need to say this for field in field dot errors but you also need to loop through each of the errors in the field so for error in field dot errors like that and instead of saying field like this we say for field in form sorry about this so now we can try this again and for and save so just refresh continue okay this field is required that doesn't give me much information okay yes i actually have one more field we need to add which is the username this can be on top here so username name username and save so if I now try to go here again, try to sign up, code with Stein, code Stein, code with Stein, and then a password, sign up. Okay, login takes one positional argument, but two were given, so there is something wrong with that function. Okay, and the problem here is that I actually created a new view down here called login, which tries to use this. So just rename this to login old or something and then inside the urls.py file we just rename this we'll come back to this later anyways so now if i go to views.py in the core you'll see that this will now be using this login function instead so now i can try to refresh now we should have the user i was redirected back here now because the user with this username already existed and that was because it stopped during sign up but now we should actually be logged in with that user so then i can go back to the to-do list and set the first task to done before i continue i just want to say thanks to all of my patrons if you too want to support me you will find a link in the description below next i want to make it possible to log out so if i now go to urls.py we will using we will be using the built-in functionality from django for this so up here you can say from django.contrib.views import contrib.auth import views 
like that. So now we get all of the views from here. And then below sign up, we can say path log out slash. And we will be using views, which is this one dot log out view as view, which is a built in function from Django name log out. And then Django will handle everything for us. So when we go to this route, we will be redirected back to the front page. Great. So now I just want to go to base.html to have a logout button up in the menu. So next to about here, we can say if request.user.isAuthenticated, then we know that the user is logged in. So now we can make a link here. Just close this. This can go to URL log out, log out and save. So if I now refresh, should not refresh that now, go to the front page. You see here that we have now have this. And if I click it, I was redirected to the log out. And now I'm at the Django's default log out page. You can change this by going to settings.py. And then here we can say log out redirect URL front page. So when you log out, you will be redirected to the front page and save. If I now go back here again, you don't have the logout button. Great. So now we have possibility to sign up and log out of the project. So the next step then to set this to done, and then we want to make it possible to log in. Django also has built-in functionality for this, so we can just go back to urls.py, remove this, and we want to say views.login.view. Dot s view and here we want to specify a template to use template name equals core slash login dot html which is the template we created in the previous part so then we can save and go to slash login and then we are presented with this so now we just want to change this so we can actually see the errors which you can copy from the sign up page so sign up dot html then we make a copy of this and go to login.html and just replace that. We also need to add the CSRF token here, CSRF token, like that. So now we should have possibility to log in here. Let's try that code with Stein. This should actually say username and not email. We need to come back to that. So you change this to text and we also set the name to username and this should be name password so not password one or two but just password so refresh one more time try to log in with code with stein and then the password i used submit okay i was logged in now but as you can see here i was redirected to a page that doesn't exist so we need to go to settings.py and change this as well. So login redirect URL equals slash. So when you now are logged in, you will be redirected to the front page as well. So as you can see now, I can log out again. That means that login functionality works. Perfect. So then I can set this task to done. And that was it for this part. I hope you liked it. And if you did, please click like below and leave a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next video.